We give God praise and thanks as this is the day that the Lord had made. And truly, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you to Bethel Tabernacle, the place where we worship God, the place where we adore God, the place where we magnify His holy name. I want to personally say thank you for watching with us and for worshiping with us this morning. But I need you to go into that comment section and do the phrase that we've started since March of 2020. Hashtag, it's time to worship. Make sure that you're sharing this page. Make sure you're sharing this message. Make sure you're sharing the word that will empower somebody. Make sure you're sharing this. That will cause somebody to be encouraged. That will cause somebody to be enriched as we worship the name of the Lord this morning. Oh, magnify the name of the Lord. Give him thanks. Exhort his name. Wonderful God, our Savior, Emmanuel, the God that we lift higher and higher and higher. Let the glory of the Lord come inside of your home. And as we worship this morning, I would like to encourage you to make sure you put the names of your loved ones within that section right there, right within that comment section. In the next 60 minutes, we have a word that will blow your mind. We have worship through singing. We will worship before him in the glory of his presence. I invite you, I invite you to position yourself, to position yourself, to position yourself. Oh, come on, you got to make sure you're sharing. You got to make sure that every single person in your family is up. Hey, right now is the end of February and you have so much to give God praise and thanks for. Is there any thankful people out there as we magnify the name of the Lord? as we go into a call to worship this morning glory to god glory to jesus i was glad when they said to me let us go into the house of the lord our feet shall stand within your gates o jerusalem for a day in your courts is better than a thousand i had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my god than to dwell in the tents of wickedness because of the house of the Lord our God I will seek your good and those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God blessed are they that dwell in your house Lord I have loved the habitation of your house the place where your glory dwells for the Lord is in his holy temple let all the earth keep silence before him let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Together, O oh, oh, sing, sing unto, unto the Lord, Lord a new song, song for he has done, done marvelous things. things. Make, Make a joyful noise, noise unto, unto the Lord. Lord. All, All the, the earth, earth sing, sing praises. praises. Amen, 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 amen. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth all wisdom all knowledge all joy all love all peace we find in you our savior our lord our king how majestic is your name lord we come this morning god lord we invite we welcome your presence with us on this day on this last sunday of february god we know lord 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 right now in the name of jesus lord we know that you have not even promised what the next moment the next second is not even promised for us god but lord right now we yield our will to your will lord if there's anything that's in us that is not pleasing in your sight god we ask that you remove it right now lord fill us god renew us lord revive us god in the name of jesus lord as we come we won't fail to give you the honor lord remember those god wherever they may be lord whatever condition or state they find themselves in lord right now in the nursing home in the prisons god locked behind prison doors right now in the name of jesus lord just speaking to someone right now god right now they're crying out to you god lord right now touch god in the name of jesus and lord we just love you god we adore you god lord wherever we are whether we're in our cars in our homes lying in our beds walking on the street god lord do it meet us wherever we are and Lord, we just give you the honor on this day 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's continue with the mindset of worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the mindset of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't he marvelous? Yes, Lord. Isn't he wonderful? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless your name this morning, God. Hallelujah, God. We don't take it for granted that you allowed us to see another day, God. So we come before you this morning, God. Jesus, so arise to your rest and be blessed by our praise as we
Come on, don't stop there. We serve a God who is able. We serve a God who will be there for you. We serve a God who says, I am able to make a way out of no way. We serve a God who is able to deliver you. We serve a God who is able to provide for you. We serve a God who is Jehovah Jireh. We serve a God who is omnipotent we serve a god who is omnipresent we serve a god who will touch you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet we serve a god that will take you off of a ventilator we serve a god that will protect you and heal you from covid we serve a god oh come on you ought to be blowing up that comment section right now I just need somebody out there for the next 30 seconds. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm hearing in my head. The blood still works. The blood still works. The blood still works. That's why he's evil. That's why he's evil. The blood. The blood. The blood still works. That's why he's evil. Somebody go in the comment section. And right, the blood still works. He's able. 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 
Diego. Come on. I had to learn how able he was. If you gotta find out, tell God I'll find out today. I'll find out. Come on and say, He's able. 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 You need God to do what only he can do. Come on, just receive what the Lord wants to do today. Receive it, receive it. Receive your strength. Receive the blood. Receive your covering. He wants to do it. He wants to do it. He wants to do it. Are you in a place to receive how able he is? Because he's a Hallelujah. Woo. LaQuisha, you could have just stayed right there. I don't know what you're going through in your bodies out there, or in your life, or in your situation, your circumstances. But wherever you may be, I just need you to lift your hand up to heaven and just say, God, you're able. You're able. Oh, come on. I need somebody out there. Come on. Let's shift this atmosphere. Let's go into the inner presence of God. Let's shift this atmosphere. Let's go into the Holy of Holies. Let's shift this atmosphere. I need somebody to be healed. I need somebody to be delivered. It might just be me. Is there anybody out there who says right now, Lord, touch my mother. Lord, touch my brother. Lord, touch my children. Lord, touch my father. Lord, touch brother Frank Morrison. Lord, touch Reverend Andrew. Lord, touch, touch, touch her, touch her, touch, shift, shift it, God. Shift it, Lord. Shift it, Lord. Oh, we believe God. Somebody says, I believe God. Somebody shout, I believe God. Somebody shout, I believe God. Somebody shout. He's able. Hallelujah. Woo. We give God praise and thanks. I hope you can take the time, the moment right now and just share this service. Just share it. Just share it on your personal social media. I need you right now. Because somebody needs to be encouraged this today. And I need you to know that you can be that conduit between God and that person who needs help. Don't keep this service to yourself because somebody needs to know but God is able. Oh, come on. Somebody needs to know but God is able. Somebody needs to know that God is able. Amen. We got a wonderful word coming for you this morning. But there's a couple of housekeeping things. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for those who have continued to support us through this time. Church givings, as you know, is significantly down and we need your support whatever you can give you can go to www.bethelthabernacleame.org slash donate and give 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 you can give by cash app paypal so many ways that you can give but we need your support especially during this time amen 
because we need to we need to be the difference the change makers in this world so please would you support this ministry you see us working you see us given out in the community and I want to thank God yesterday we gave so many bags of food away and if you need food let us know you can go to better tab 90 at gmail.com and we'll be here to give out bags of food if you need it but please let somebody know who's going through um, and so we want to help you Trey come up come up here you wanted to see this young man is doing his best to help us but he's also a part of young life and um, come on Trey come on and um, Trey wanted to see if he can um, get your support by helping him. He's going to be a young leader. Just grab that mic over there. Um, a young leader who is helping out other young people. And so we're asking you, please, um, just tell them what it is about. Come on, Trey. So um, this Friday, I'm flying out to L.A. for six months for um, a training to become a better young a leader to learn how to deal with kids and the dangerous parts of LA. So I'm gonna be there for six months learning how to minister, become a youth pastor. So Amen. Amen. And tell them how they how can they get the link to support you. Oh, so all I'm saying is I have a link to help me while I'm out there, like to help me do you need my some ministry money, bro. <laughs> I, tell them you need the I money. <laughs> I have a fundraising page to support me while I'm out there, to keep me out there, to cover the expenses and stuff, so I can continue doing the world's work with the kids in the um, dangerous part of the community. Amen. Wait, and you're gonna put it put it in the comment section that you can find it. Okay, come on, put your hands together for Trey. Amen. We, you've got to support our young people who is stepping up. I just told him, Trey, we need help around the sanctuary, and he was like, I'm here. And so we give God praise and thanks for those um, who are able to help. Amen. Um, so thank you so much. Please support him. Please support him. He'll put that in the comment section also. Amen. Thank you to Sister uh, Vanessa yesterday and Sister Lisa, Sister uh, Brenda, who is out here doing the food, giving away the food. So thank you so much for doing the work. Brother Ponder and Brother Smith. Oh, Lord, you should have seen us trying to put 200 bags in a u-haul amen and boxes so we need your help in in and support in passing those those food out uh, so if you need let us know amen thank you worshipers god is able amen and um, next week sunday is first sunday could you believe it we're already right here in march amen and you have so much to give god praise and thanks for but next week sunday is actually the month of march is women's month right Oh, y'all act like y'all don't know. Okay, it's Women's Month. And um, so to start the month off, we have a visiting preacher, um, a, a fire, mighty woman of God who's going to blow the house down. She's been here before. Uh, that's Timony, Timony Figueroa is going to be here next Sunday. So please, would you support? Um, let somebody know. Let somebody know. Timony Figueroa is going to be here next Sunday. And we pray that you'll um, be on Get a word to encourage you through this season. Amen. And we have some other visiting preachers that come in. Um, we want to keep the word going. Amen. So continue to support this ministry. Thank you. But remember, next week's Sunday is also first Sunday. We'll do our communion. And um, please, if you need communion, let us know also. And we'll bring it to you. Or you can stop by the church. Stop by. The, we're not bringing it to you. Stop by the church. And we'll give it to you while you're in your car. Amen. God is with you. Um, just before we go into the word, somebody put this a mighty word coming. And I need you. There's a mighty word coming. But the singers are going to come now real quickly as we go into um, that sermonic song just before the word comes. Come on, singers. Hallelujah. The song says, I will call upon the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you know it, you can clap your hands with us. Come on, put your hands on it. Come on, 
Let's go right here. I will call upon the Lord for he is worthy to be praised. I will call upon the Lord for he is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord reign and blessed be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reign. Let it be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigns and blessed be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigns and blessed be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. I will call upon the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. One more. I will call upon the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. So shall I. The Lord reign and let it be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reign and let it be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. Hosanna, Hosanna. Let it be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. Hosanna. Let it be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. Come on, put your hands on it. Come on, let's try this one. It says this. I don't know what you come to do. 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 Oh, I came to clap my head. I came to clap my hands. I came to clap my head. I came to clap my hands. I came to clap my head. I came to clap my hands. I came to clap my head. I came to clap my hands. I don't know what you come to do. 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 Come on, everybody clap. I came to clap my head. 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 Come on, everybody, put your hands together. All right, since we're here, let's go old school. Let's go. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier in the army. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier. Everybody clap your hands. Yo, 
not mind if we call on the name of Jesus for a little bit. Yeah. Say, what's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Can you help me call him? Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Power. Jesus. Power. Jesus. Power. Jesus. Watch and watch. Jesus. Away my sins. Jesus. Nothing but the blood Jesus. of Jesus. Jesus. What can make Jesus. me whole again? Jesus. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Jesus. But the blood of Jesus. 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 That power in the name of Jesus. Power. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Power. Jesus. Power. Jesus, 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 the more I call it, Jesus, the more I call it, Jesus, 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 can you help me call him? Jesus, 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 yeah, everybody got your hands. Come on, put your hands together. If you know he's been a real good God, you want to clap your hands. Yes, Lord. Yeah, wait a minute. Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Daring, he carried my sin far away. Rising, he justified me. Freed me forever. One day, he's coming back. Glory, I say. Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sin far away. Rising, he justified. Free me forever. One day, he's coming back. Glory, I say. Come on, put your hands on it. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. We got a great word for you. We got a great word for you. Thank you, worshipers. Thank you, Brother Jermaine, Elder Jermaine, Pastor Jermaine. Hallelujah. <laughs> we give God praise and thanks for his word, his word. We got a great word for you. Somebody put that in the comment section this morning. We got a great word for you. I, I need you to share this service. I need you to be encouraged, but I also need you to make sure that this, you pray with me that God will speak to you through this message. Amen. Father, we come before you. These vessels, broken vessels, tattered vessels, split vessels, wandering vessels, vessels who have been left on the side, abandoned vessels, vessels that have so much more use to it. Now we come to the end of this month. For this country, it's the end of a moment of black history. But for us, it's our story. This is our song. We pray this message will touch the hearts of your people. Speak Holy Spirit now. Be transparent. Be rev revealing. That your people will be changed and transformed to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. If everybody could go to John, the Gospel of John, chapter 11. And I want to read a familiar story, piece of a familiar story, piece of it, over until we get to um, verse 
at least verse 54. I'm not going to read all of it, but I pray you follow me. Um, John 11, and I want to read from verse, I think Tony has it up from verse, at least verse 38. I want to read from. It says here, Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time, there is a bad odor, for he has been there four days. Then Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you will always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees, watch this, and told them what Jesus had done. Then the chief priests, the church people, the chief priests, and the Pharisees called for a meeting of the Sanhedrin. What are we accomplishing? What are we doing? They asked. Here is this man performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him. And then the Romans will come and take away both our temple and our nation. Then one of them named Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, spoke up. You know nothing at all. You do not realize that it is better for you that one man die for the people than the whole nation Paris. He did not say this on his own, but as high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus will die for the nation. And not only for that nation, but also for the scattered children of God to bring them together and make them one. So from that day on, they plotted to take his life. Look at verse 54. Therefore, Jesus no longer moved about publicly among the people of Judea. Let me stay right there. I want to use for a sermon topic, if I may, this morning, which I will. I want to use the sermon topic, Lucretia, watch out for my comeback. Watch out for my Come back. Can I say that again? Watch out for my comeback. Uh, during the last week, the airwaves, most airwaves, most um, news stations were thoroughly focused on the accident that the famous golfer Tiger Woods had. With two broken legs and bones protruding, the big question was asked can he come back from this? On one particular news channel, the commentator, to my shock and others, declared that he hoped that this would be the final end of Mr. Wood's career and that he should take this time to focus on his family and not come back as he previously did on his other setbacks. Can I read that again? They, they're hoping that Mr. Woods will stay home, chill, go into retirement and never come back again. This particular thought process of opinionated conclusion of a person's life is not very far from what others have thought of people of color throughout history. Some have disdain against the thought that we have the power, the will, the grit, and the gumption to rise up from disasters and perils and failures that have fallen upon us. One historian by the name of Herbert Apteker informs us in, America, in the novel, American Negro Slaves, Slave Revolts, no one put this dishonest, nakedly pro-slavery argument more boldly than this historian who said of people of color that the people of color were innate, innate patience. They were docile, childlike simplicity of the Negro, who he felt was an imitator and non-moralist, learning deceit, and they were easily intimidated, incapable of deep plots. In other words, they were saying that with all the amount of slavery that was coming out of slaves that were coming out of Africa, Kim, who had multiplied from 566,000 and had multiplied, Ronald, to over 4 million, how come they did not rise up? 
but another historian, um, actually with whom Henry Louis Gates was looked at, he says, consider how this, how this writing and this historian was so bizarre to say the things he said of people of color. It wasn't enough that slaves had been subjugated under a harsh and brutal regime for two and a half centuries, Ronald, with the collapse of Reconstruction, this, 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 we had to go through on a on, to, to, to look at slavery and how it hurts us when they would set dogs upon us. When every single time we would rise up, they'd try to shoot us and kill us. They would rape our women. How is it that they, they did all this to us and you still wanted us to rise up? But yes, as a people of color, we prevailed. We kept coming back. And if everyone ever saw that movie with, with Nat Turner, how Nat Turner, y'all remember that? How Nat Turner got up and he rose up. And yet still, at the end of that movie, what there was to be realized that it was Nat Turner's own friends and family who turned against him. Here's the point, that sometimes that you would get up and tell people that, yes, listen here, we've got to get up and cause change. And then you say, and then everyone agrees. But when it comes time to the action, Vicky, nobody shows up. When it comes time to do the work, nobody shows up. When it comes time to speak out, everybody will all of a sudden have Alzheimer's on their lips. Everybody have, forget that they can even speak. Everybody wants to be quiet. And when we look at these rebellions, where we look back that every single one of these rebellions throughout history, including the one in Haiti, every single one of them had a comeback plan. Every single one of them, even though they were crushed and, and, and killed, they still had a comeback plan. And what we realize that today, we are not very far from that today, uh, where you tell people of the good, of the plans that we have to change the church, the good that we have the plan to change the economy, the good that we have the plans to improve their lives, and still, people would only listen, but they wouldn't do it. You keep talking to them saying, can we do something to change? Can we work at this to change? And when you go to them and say, let's do it, they disappear. As a matter of fact, they go tell others how you're trying to disrupt what was already in place. They go tell others how you're not conforming to the culture. They go tell others that the, the present day masters Omari. But whatever you're trying to do, you're trying to make them uncomfortable. Look at what's happening in the news, Laquisha. But they're trying to suppress our voting rights in today's time. They, they're trying to find new ways that they can tell us how we ought to vote. And then, and then when we speak up, they find, they think of us that we are miserable people. And that's why we need, that's why we are grateful for people like Stacey Abrams who can go on the front line and after 10 years, she can change a state to blue. You're not talking back to me. That's why we're grateful for people like John Arnoff who went forth. And because we stood up, we are a people of comeback. Somebody say, watch out for my comeback. I know this country hated when Obama became president in 2008. I know they hated when we as a people of color move from the sidelines to the front line. But we are a people that don't have to consistently stay in a place under silence. We're a people who are consistently moving against the setbacks, moving against the perils, moving against what they say that we can't do. And we just sang the song because we believe in God. We know that we serve a God who is able. God don't want his people to stay in one place. We serve a God who is consistently moving. We serve a God who is consistently better. No wonder that after after 400 years in the, the people of God who were in Egypt that the scent, the scent, somebody said the scent, the scent, the stinking scent of slavery went up to the nostrils of God and the scripture says that God remembered them is there somebody out there who's saying that I need a comeback and in this comeback I need God to remember me because whatever I am going through I need God and watch this, um, I was, when I was looking at this text, when I was looking at this text, uh, uh, the first point I want to give you, comebacks allow you to see what was hindering you. Can I say that again? Comebacks allow us to see what was 
hindering us. And watch this. Jesus got to the cave, but on his way to the tomb came, some people were complaining. I said, Jesus got to the cave, but on his way to the tomb, some people were complaining, saying, could he not have healed? <laughs> Could he not have healed Lazarus? Could he not have just said a word? But let me tell you, this is for somebody out there. God is not on our own timing. God likes to make an impact. God is waiting for his own timing. God will say, you can, you can plan it your way, but when my plans get into place, what your, I will blow your expectations out of mine. Has, is there anybody who's waiting for God to just say, God, I need you to speak to my expectations God I needed to do it your way and here's Jesus saying to Martha Martha I need you to remember I am the resurrection <laughs> watch this watch this he says to Martha I am the resurrection Martha is speaking in the future tense <sighs> Martha is saying I know you will raise my brother in the end of the world <sighs> But Jesus says, Jesus is speaking present tense. Jesus says, I am. And when God says, I am, God wants you to recognize that he's the God who can do it right now. And you don't have to wait for some other season. He's the God of when? Yesterday. God of tomorrow. God of the future. And he's also God of the moment. Am I talking to anybody out there? But when we serve God, regardless of where you find yourself, God is looking at your life and saying, I am the God who can give you a great comeback am i talking to anybody out there god is the god of the resurrection and watch this watch this um most times people don't know um how to come back from a setback here because they are always around people who are living in a setback can i just say that again i hope somebody put that in the comment section most times most people don't know how to come back from a setback because all the friends that they have and all the people who are around them are consistently living in a setback. Um, what do you mean by that, Pastor? Um, the problem with a lot of us is that we only have mourners and criers and complainers around us. And um, what you need is to get around some people who is about removing the stumbling block and the sickness that's affecting you and them. Somebody put that out there. But what you need is people who can get you towards your purpose, uh, towards your comeback, that you had a year, that you may have a bad year, or you may have a bad school year, you may have a bad job, that fire you and you're saying this is the end of my life huh? and God is saying no baby I got something better in store for you you might have the divorce in your life huh? and God is saying you thought that was the best years of your life huh? wait until I you're not talking back to me out there wait you see until what I got in store for you what somebody I need you to go in the comment section right now and put watch out for my comeback yeah. watch this comebacks allow us to reset and to refocus. Um, comebacks allow us to reset and to refocus. I've always wondered about this text. Why in the world would Jesus wait four days after to go look for his own beloved friend? And he kept messing with me. I said, why would Jesus wait four days to go and see his friend? Um, because here's the problem. God knows that a lot of us have become settled with the way he does things. You know, we sing song, if God did it once, he can do it or what? Y'all talk back to me. He can do it again. And you're looking for God. God got you out of one situation and you think God ought to do it the exact same way the other time. Okay, y'all not hearing me this morning. And God is saying, listen here, what I'm about to do, I want to blow your mind. And we don't have the, the answer. We don't even look at it and say, why? God must be up to something. Rather, we delineate to things that we think is hurting us. Meaning, God must not love me anymore. God, we start saying things like, oh my God, what is God has forsaken me? 
Oh my God, I'm not worthy. Oh my God, what is God saying to me? And you get in the space of thinking and God is saying, I just want you to wait. Somebody put a wait. <laughs> because when I show up, <laughs> I'm not only just going to open that door, God, it will blow that door down. Y'all not hearing me. <laughs> and when God shows up, here's the thing about God. God is not trying to do something just for you, Kim. God is trying to do something for you, for every, for your son, for your mother, for your father. God is trying to touch everybody in your family. You're not hearing me. Some of us, we just want God to work on our behalf. Huh? Just for ourselves. Huh? And God is saying, I'm not that type of God. Huh? Whenever I do something, huh? I'm going to do it exceedingly. Huh? I'm going to do it exceedingly. Huh? Abundant. Huh? All that you can ever ask or think. You're not hearing me. Uh, can I repeat myself again? God says, huh? whatever I do, I'm going to do it exceedingly and the problem with us uh, we don't even read a thesaurus to understand what th exceedingly abundant means Here, here's what jesus says i come that you may have what life and have okay jesus said watch this jesus shows up to the grave okay i'm about to get get out of here on my watch this huh? um sometimes you have to be intentional about waiting because you're intentional about what happens in your life okay down. i say sometimes you have to be intentional about waiting because you have to be intentional about what happens in your life okay um let me i gotta y'all making me overwork this morning and um, because um too many of us, um, we allow any and everybody in our lives. <laughs> and you're not intentional about who comes into your space. <laughs> and then you have all around you, you just have mourners, criers, complainers, people who have given up, people who have said life has forsaken me, and you're not intentional about closing the doors and saying some things need to die. This is a brand new year. We've only got to the end of February, and some of you have already given up on life. Am I talking to somebody out there? You ought to tell yourself the next months of this year, I'm going to be intentional about who comes into my space uh, I'm going to be intentional about the people I relate to uh, I'm going to be intentional because uh, you've got greater purpose and watch this I got to get out of here um, watch this this is ready get ready for it the glory is going to about to come watch this come back allows uh, you to watch God works okay y'all make me preach real hard this morning um, come back allows you to watch God works. Can I say that again? Um, come back allows you to watch. Uh, Omar, you got to take me out of here. God works. Hold it. Um, watch this. Jesus tells the people to remove the clothing off of Lazarus. But before he could go to the clone, watch this. Jesus says, remove the stumbling block. Um, uh, some of us have blocks that we need to be moved out of the way and before God can heal you and get to the dead things in your life that he needs to resurrect God needs you to remove the block that's hindering you out of the way okay um and before god can say lazarus come forth uh, your gifts come forth uh, your talents come forth god needs you to remove the block uh, out of your way okay i'm coming here watch this now and when you remove the block out of your way uh, god can call your gifts uh, god can call his promises uh, god can call the things that you've already spoken uh, the things that you've declared and decreed in your life uh, to come forth can i go in uh, and watch this uh, watch the problem kim uh, when he called lazarus because i know some of y'all have heard this sermon a million times uh, and as i was praying the Lord revealed to me Dave I need you to look a little further Shelton I said Lord what do you want me to see the Lord says why is it that every single person who preached this sermon they get the, they jump up every single time Jesus says 
Lazarus come forth. But before they could even see who Lazarus is, Jesus gave the command, Loquatia, remove the clothing that binds him. And I said, Lord, I don't see what you're saying. And the Lord says, Dave, how many days has Lazarus been dead? I said earlier, if you were listening to this message, he's been dead four days. And Reverend Dylan, the Lord says, the four days his body was already rotten. Four days the maggots was already coming out of his head. Four days, every stinking thing was already coming in. But because they had already wrapped him in the clothing, those clothing was already stinking. And then Jesus says, remove the clothing. And Laquisha, have you ever been to your closet? And you look in your closet. And you look at some clothes that you used to wear. And you said, ooh, I, I, I used to wear that. And you get rid of that clothing. Is there somebody out there? You need to get rid of the stinking clothing. Because in order for you to have a good comeback, there's some things huh, you need to remove huh, off of yourself. Huh, huh. You say, I'm no longer huh, wearing that. Huh, huh. I am no longer huh, that type of person. Huh. Are you waiting for your comeback? Huh? But you got to remove the clothes. Huh? Because before they can see, huh, the Lazarus that went in huh, is not the same Lazarus huh, that came back out of the wolf cave is there somebody out there help me to remove the layers of this thinking clothing I gotta remove the layers because when I come out of this cave I am no longer the same my comeback is gonna be better than before I'm stepping in harder this year wait for my comeback you thought last year I was great but I'm stepping in harder this year I got a cloud before me and the fire of God behind me I'm removing the clothing that binds me. I'm removing the clothing of voter suppression. I'm removing the clothing of house discrimination. I'm removing the clothing that holds our black women back. I'm removing the stench within our churches. You can't hold me back. I'm stepping in harder this year. Wait for it. Laban thought he could hold Jacob back. But when Jacob stepped in his purpose, he was harder. He was harder than before. They thought they could hold Esther back. Haman put up a gallow, and the gallow was so high. But Esther says, I'm going to the king, and if I perish, if I perish, I'm going in my purpose and I'm going in stronger watch out for my comeback you can't hold me back they thought they could hold Ezra Nehemiah back from building the temple wait for it wait for it but it was prophesied in the glory of this house will be greater 
everybody the glory of the latter house will be greater than the glory of the former house I can say it again the glory whatever God did for you in 2019 it will be greater in 2021 whatever God did for you in 2016 in 2021 it will be greater somebody shout in the comment section watch out for my comeback I'm stepping in I'm stepping in harder Out. Where's my Lazarus? Lazarus! Come! He's able! He's able! He's able! Shout! Watch out! For my comeback. You know what Jesus was trying to get across to Martha was that Martha stop looking to the future and realize that I'm the God of now but before you can call your Lazarus forth there's some stinking things you have to remove you know what I like about this text Lucretia Jesus never said, Jesus didn't go remove the clothes himself from Lazarus. He told the people, he told the people, Reverend Franklin, is that you? He told the people, go take the clothes off of him. And he told the people, let him go. You got to like, stop wearing stinking thoughts that other people have given to you leave give them back what they've given you tell them take it leave it with them um, 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 I've I, I've I've stopped wearing people's clothing meaning people's thoughts what people think about me what people say about me because Omari all I heard Jesus says was let him go and Jesus is saying this to so many of us be free come forth stop living in the dead places with dead people who just want you to cry all day because look, they're complaining, but they couldn't do anything for Lazarus. They're complaining, wanting God to do it their way. And God is saying, uh-uh, watch out for my comeback. This is for somebody out there. You need a comeback. You've been waiting. And God is saying, come to me. I got a comeback that's greater. Let's pray. Father. Your word now has gone forth. Speak to your people, every single person who's watching. Come down. Shed your love. 
Help them to see that you don't want them to die. Help them to see that you don't want them to live with the stinking clothes of, of death. But they need to be released and go forth to do the will and in your presence. And this is for somebody out there. Stop living in people's opinion. You are who God created you to be. You don't, you don't have to. I started this sermon by saying historians thought of us as slaves who could not do any better. But we are just meant for death. And truly because of the brutal sum of slavery and through reconstruction and through the uh, civil rights era and through the Jim Crow era, we, we as a people started believing some of those things. God is saying you're so much more you've been wrapped in clothing but no longer suits Woo! but no longer suits you that no longer pertains to you stop wearing dead clothing dead people's clothing and get in the presence of Jesus that's you just say Lord Jesus come into my heart save me and I'm saved you're saved if you pray that prayer. And I want you to believe God. That's what the scripture says. All you have to do is believe God. And you're saved. Thank you for joining us. I'm the Reverend Dr. Dave Allen. Watch out for my comeback. God got you. Watch God work. And his promises are true. As we sing our closing that song, praise God. From whom all blessings flow. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures. my comeback you've got to comebacks help us to get rid of the hindrances comebacks allow us to reset and to refocus comebacks also allow us to watch everybody say with me watch God work now unto him who's able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his throne to the only wise God we are glory, dominion, honor, and power. And we're singing, singing by singing. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Remember to share this message with somebody. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. God bless you.